and the forecast for the rest of the week is cloudy followed by rain with temperatures of the 50s with highs of the mid 50s to the low 30 40 I don't even know hi viewers welcome to another rambling episode I decided to mix up the intro with like a forecast of my current area because you know fuck it I wanted to mix things up I, I don't want things to get still you know I, I feel like as a general whole things I, I have like this cookie cutter intro where you know I'm just greeting you guys and then talking about the part I don't want to do that anymore that's boring and it's it's too predictable and uh, I don't know it's just generally I want to mix it up especially if should I ever just be like, you know, I want to go watch my previous rambling videos because I like the previous stuff that happened in my, in my past. You know, I do that sometimes. I'll watch my old videos just, just for the sake of it. But my God, whenever I do, I'm just like, why, why do I have like the same greeting in 50 of my videos? Stupid. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. I'm trying to, trying to be not original, but just like just like realize that was stupid I'm gonna go back to cookie cutter because at least now I understand why why I did this thing that I did you know why why it was the same and I mean like I don't know I, I don't want to get into a snoop where I'm just like doing the same exact thing on all of my videos I don't want to, I don't want it to be a repetitive pattern of boringness but you know I, I just keep I just keep I, I gotta change something I gotta change subjects because, like, I don't want to focus on one thing at a time. I mean, I'm rambling. That's what I do here. That's what I. That's what happens. But I do have to ramble about different things. One of those things is the fact that this is the last Pikmin episode. This is the final level. I don't normally talk about the game, but I'm talking about it for one specific reason. After this, the game is over. It's over. We're done. We're moving on to different things. Uh, the game that I'm gonna be doing, and uh, I think I've talked about in the pre—I think I've talked about this in a previous episode of these rambling videos. It's gonna be a donation by a friend. Now, I don't normally try to plug in my channel or anything like that, cause I—I I, I don't ask for you viewers to do anything. You know, that's optional. You guys can do whatever you want. You want to watch like. Well, my videos, you want to just rambling tune into this rambling part. You know, that's fine. You do that. You do that. I appreciate all the support. If anyone wants to support, subscribe, you know, like, comment, whatever. It doesn't matter. Follow me on Twitter. It's all good. Usually on these videos, I, I plug in my Twitter just, just because, I don't know. I, I do occasionally use it here and there. And, you know, I, I am grateful for all the support that people give me. And surprisingly, I get donations here and there. So, you know, I, I do wanna I do wanna give back, I do wanna show my appreciation and my thanks. And that's why I'm doing a different that's why the big, like the next rambling series, like solo, because I don't have a guest star. That that's why I do the rambling. If I have a guest star, it's just uh, you know, hanging with Gildum. Cause my friends, they're hanging with Gildum, they're hanging with me. And they're like we're just sh shooting the shit, talking back and forth about like whatever. I don't know. It's it's just an extension of rambling. It's just, it's a side project sort of thing. It's it's a spin-off. There we go. That was what I was trying to think of. It's a spin-off of this. I'm just not solo. That's the only difference. Also, you know, I I tend to go with a variety of different games as opposed to just sticking with one like I do on these solo rambling videos. Because, I don't know, that that's the difference. But, that, you know, that is a good question. I, I do want to pose a question to you, the viewers. Would you like to have a variety of different things, you know? Just have me playing, like, different games, much like my Hanging with Gildum videos. Where it's like I'm playing something different every time. Or, you know, like, just, just sticking to a minimum of, like, I don't know, like here and there like go play breath of the wild for instance and then you switch it off to like something else you know just just something to kind of like ha again it's like background footage so you know the main focus is really just me rambling on about this and that it you know just ventilating thoughts in other words because that's what i do on the other hand 
it, it's kind of like, I, I, I kind of like this, you know, the whole let's play ambiance of just, I have like, it's footage, it's like in order of me like going from like start to finish sort of, uh, I mean like, I will, I will say this, I figure that because this is what, like eight, seven, eight, eight parts, uh, not too bad, right? Not too bad. 30 minute episodes. Still not too bad. I, I feel like I don't want to oversaturate like like trying to actually go from start to finish if the game takes too long. I mean, there are some games, especially turn-based RPGs, which would take a while. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I will limit like these these things to like at most like 10 episodes. And then I'm moving on to a different a different game. I, I've decided I think that's what I'm gonna do just because I mean it seems that seems like a good balance. <clears throat> I can't stick with one game like for for the rest of my life. If I could, I mean I don't know. I I, I think it'd be the binding of Isaac. That that's a pretty good game. It's it's roguelike so it's always different and it's always interesting I think. But at the same time, I mean if you're like me and you play it over and over again you you you've had your share of like losses. Because let me tell you, it, nothing's re nothing's as rewarding as getting like that one item that everyone desires. But then, of course, you'll have 50 in between where it's like you just get really shitty items, and it's like there's no way I'm gonna be able to pass the first floor with this. I I, I mean, like there's so many items I can't even think of one off the top of my head. My mind is drawing blanks. There's a lot of really good items though. Uh, anyways. All this said, I, I'm just saying, like, uh, the next game that I plan on playing, I gotta go get footage for it. And I'll, I'll talk about more in depth when, uh, when we get there. I think I'm gonna kind of break away from doing rambling videos for, for a little bit, maybe like two weeks or something. If all goes as planned, I will have more Hanging with Gildan videos, so, you know, I'll, I'll have more friends on here and that'll be pretty cool. It'll be pretty cool to interact with them. I'll, I'll like that a lot. Also, it'll give me time to actually record said footage. But other than that, I mean, I'm gonna move on to different things, because let me tell you something. I got some Bluetooth headphones this week. And you know what that means? I'll be able to listen to the, the musical sounds as I play the games when I actually do my Project Let's Plays. Because let me tell you something. I haven't. I have, I have a pretty decent mic. It's really sensitive, so it picks up a lot. It picks up my voice pretty well, which is nice. Uh, I, I tend to find that I'm pretty overpowering with other friends when they come and join me, though. That's unfortunate. But what's not unfortunate is the fact that these Bluetooth headphones, when I play the games, I'll be able to listen to the music. And that will be amazing, because I don't know if you know this, but musical soundtracks are like huge with me because like I will listen to them and then I will get like oddly attached to them and I'll be like oh that's my jam that is my jam oh and then I listen to it all the time at work until I get sick and tired of it because uh, I, I like listening to music at work I'm allowed to have an mp3 player and I listen to it and then I go and do like amazing things and everyone's like Damn, Gildum, you're you're strong. You're you're like you're like the total boss here. You you rule the area, and it's like it, it's like whatever. Cause I got my soundtrack, so I can focus. I can have like super focus mode. Cause like there are some tracks that I absolutely love the shit out of. Uh, for instance, like in the Bastion OST, like Terminal March. I still listen to the Bastion OST cause it's it's great. I love it. I love listening to it. Uh, and then there, you got like Lisa the Painful RPG and then Lisa the Joyful, because you know I, I have both of those on my uh, on my MP3 player, and I listen to 666 Kill Chop Deluxe all the time because it's fantastic. It's it's just it, that's my jam. That, that's what I do. And I have like Final Fantasy tracks like from different from different installments, and I listen to them all the time, because they're good, man. There's a lot of good things. There's a lot of bullshit tracks, too, that I, I don't really care about, like uh, Eyes on Me from Final Fantasy VIII. I, I generally try to skip over that, because I forget that, uh, you know, if I if I really wanted to get into it, I should edit like the songs there on my MP3 player, and that was definitely one that I would uh, 
like to like to get rid of. But I'm lazy, so you know, I, I, who can really say? I don't know if it's ever gonna happen sooner or later. But my point is, there's a lot of really good tracks that I I, I like. A lot of things that I claim are my jam because uh, I, I like I like musical OSTs. They're they're great. They're great, and I like listening to them. And I like being like, "Yo, man, this is how I feel." Because you know, I. I like anybody else, I'm a person, and I experience a wide variety of emotions. So sometimes, I have sad tracks. Other times, I have like really vibrant and happy tracks. Other times, I have like, you know, super angry, like, death metal tracks. Cause, you know, that that's how I feel sometimes. Sometimes I'm in the mood to listen to the Beatles, and other times I'm in the mood to listen to Iron Maiden. What can I say? My, my opinion changes all the time all this said and done cuz I mean like you know I, I'm someone who is, likes variety uh, when I feel one thing and the uh, something for like a different mood comes on I uh, it does not work well I generally have to skip to the next track I really don't know where I'm going with this music I like music I guess that's what I, I'm really trying to say here I like, I like music. It's good. It's fun. It's fun for the whole family. I like musical OSTs. I really wish Nintendo would just release like a lot of their soundtracks for various games, like over the uh, over the years, because they they do not, or at least as far as I know, as far as I'm aware, unless you get like the super deluxe version, like or something like along those lines, or I don't even know. Point is. As far as I'm aware, they do not release the OSTs, and you have to find, uh... You have to find... Other ways to get it, namely illegal downloading. Which I don't do. I... I don't illegally download the tracks, because... I want to support Nintendo, but they won't release the tracks. And it makes me sad, because, you know, I would... I would totally spend, like, $500 on, like, musical tracks just... just alone. Because I, I like a lot of things. For instance, Mario RPG was great. And Paper Mario, oh man. I like a lot of the boss themes from that game. Uh, I, I like... There's some of some tracks in A Thousand Year Door that I, I generally also like as well. I don't know. When it comes down to it, I, I prefer Paper Mario over Thousand Year Door. And I know, it, Thousand Year Door is vastly superior. But at the same time... Like, Thousand... Or, no, no. Paper Mario. The original Paper Mario. I have a lot of nostalgia with that. Much like I do with uh, Mario RPG. Because those games are, like, from my childhood. Or, like, at least... I played them during a time I was, like, super impressionable. And I was like, yeah, these games are amazing. And Thousand Year Door is really good, too. Like, I had a lot of fun playing it. And, uh, I have a, I have a lot of fond memories with it. But, they're, at the same time, like... There are chapters that I'm, like, I remember not, like, loathing. There are chapters I remember loathing in that game. For instance, I was not a fan of Chapter 3, or at least I think it was Chapter 3. It was the one where, you, like, you go to the arena and you basically just do a series of battles. I thought that was boring and, and kind of lame, and I was like, man, I want I want to, like, go, to ex go explore. I want to go place, go explore. Couldn't do that in that chapter, because you're, like, stuck doing the arena, and it's like, sure, it's alright, but... You know, where, where's, like, the awesome, like, exploration level design and everything? Although I do remember having a lot of fun with, like, the ducks, the dusk town place. I don't remember. I don't remember, like, town. I guess what I'm getting at, what the realization here is, I need to go play Thousand Year Door. Because it's been a while, and I, I don't remember it nearly as much as I should. I remember, I remember there was a lot of cool things about it. Uh, but Paper Mario, I remember Paper Mario, like, super intensely. Like, I can remember a lot of things. I can remember, like, bosses, chapters. I, I can remember some of the enemies. So clearly, I have a lot of, I have a huge fondness for that game. And the music is amazing, and I really wish I could buy it. I wish I could buy, like, the OST. Anyone, anyone with me on that? Anyone, like, anyone ever have, like, some game that they wish they could own, like, the soundtrack to, but sadly the company will not release it. 
It, it, it makes me sad, because I can't. Anyways, all this said and done, I, uh, I, I can listen to, like, a whole bunch of other things, and I'm, I'm happy about that. I got these Bluetooth headphones that allow me to do that with my current projects. Let me tell you something. From here on out, I will be able to comment on the music and say, Oh, man, this this is a good one. This is a good one. Now that I think about it, I should get the Shadow of the Colossus OST. There's a lot of really good songs from that game. Like, a lot of really good... A lot of really good ones that I, I could probably recommend. Like, Revive Powers is totally... That's totally my jam. That is the song that I was like... I get giddy whenever I hear it, because it, it's so magical. It, it's amazing. Oh, also, I wanted to make a comment about Pikmin. Because, uh, as the series in general, we saw a lot of onions. There was a lot of them. There was, like, a bunch of them, multicolored... Di like things I don't even know like you had the teal one you had like the aquamarine one you had like a magenta one colors that are unbeknownst to me my question has always been what are those what, are, what can those pigment do I'll never know I don't think anyone will because I mean they haven't released a game that has those colored pigment I don't know I played a little bit too I should probably beat two two like two was really good it got rid of the time limit as far as i know but at the same time like i really don't know what else to say like i, I got a wii u to play pikmin 3 i haven't beaten two and i'm, I'm determined to beat two before i move on to three because i mean logically that makes the most sense to me and i know what you're saying guild them you played through Pikmin, the first game you did it you beat it in 15 days which is like pretty much half of how long it how, how long the time limit is. You sped through it. You recognized everything. You knew how to do the things. You you can Pikmin. Gildam, you can Pikmin. And you're right, I can. In the first game. In the second game, I have no idea. I never grew... I never, like, sat around, like, in high school or after high school. Like, just just with, like, man, I need a game to fill in the time slot. Because, uh... That, that's what I did, you know? Like, after school, I'd, I'd come home and turn on my GameCube and then I play Pikmin because uh, it's a very chill game and I like chilling out with it and I know what I'm doing sort of because I practiced a lot didn't so much with Pikmin 2 in fact I think I rented it once realized it was pretty different in a lot of things I didn't know how to do the Pikmin thing and I didn't know like the layout of like how it works and then I got the Wii ver or yeah I got the Wii version and so it's like I, I was trying to get with it, but at the same time, oh man, it's pigment on steroids. It's like there's so many things I don't know how to deal with it. Also, I get like super stressed out when my pigment die, and it's like very easy to do in that game. In this game, I mean, if you're stupid, you'll kill them off, but for the most part, there's a lot of ways around actually killing off your pigment. But the second game, man, you'll kill off so many, it'll make you sad. But they do introduce two new ones, like this giant Jumbo Pikmin, and you got the Immune to Poison small little white Pikmin, and those those guys are cool. I, I like those guys. But it's just, it, I don't know, Pikmin 2 stresses me out with just so many things you can do, and I'm just super unaware with it. I don't know. Uh, if I was ever going to do that for the channel, I'd, I'd have to really, really just get invested into everything that I'm doing, and I'd have to take so many notes. I did that with Silent Hill 2. Because, I mean, that's what I do whenever I'm, like, super intentive into, like, actually doing things. Uh, I, I take notes. I make... I jot down things. I make sure I know what I'm doing. For Silent Hill 2, I mean, I did that a lot. Mainly because I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to flub it up. And I also wanted to make sure that I, I made, like, uh, key note noticeable differences on the main characters. Because there's a lot of philosophical things you can talk about when it comes to those guys. And I like philosophy. Whether you guys know it or not, Gildum is pretty high on philosophy. I guess it's it's something I haven't really talked about much and I haven't really like portrayed a lot, but I mean I can get super philosophical if you want me to. We can talk about like all sorts of things, like the concept of life and and like existence and non-existence and like reality and fate and 
you know, like, free will. Because there's a lot you can get into, but at the same time, it's, it's really hard to, like, portray a lot of philosophical things alone. Or at least, I feel like you need the counterbalance of someone kind of, like, you know, giving, portraying an idea, and then you either playing devil's advocate or, like, kind of, like, embellishing said idea or, like, kind of posing a counter-argument, which really is... I think the best way to go about philosophy, you know, kind of, kind of debating key points, kind of giving a counter argument to the, the, the view point already like portrayed. Cause I like to bounce back ideas with like different ideas, cause that's how I work. You know, I I try to think outside the box, or at least I don't know. I I think it's more of an unintentional like, oh yeah, what about this? Like if we exist. Or if if everything's predetermined, if fate is the actual thing, how would we know? And you don't. I don't know. My point is, I like to talk about philosophy, but it's really hard to talk about philosophy when you don't have someone else here to kind of like bounce back the ideas and discuss them. So I don't know. I think next time I get someone here, I, I'm gonna. When I get another chillin' like hang out with Gilm when we're chillin', I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull that pin and it's gonna get super philosophical and they're not even gonna know unless they watch this. I don't know. We'll see. I can't promise anything, viewers, cause you know, who knows? When I get someone here, it, it's hard to say what will happen, but at the same time I'm I'm looking forward to it. And if it's who I think it is, if everything works out the way, the next Hanging with Gildum should be a pretty good person to hang out with, and it'll be exciting. And there might be some hints of phil, phil philosoph, philosophical debate. Maybe. I can't phrase that. I can't talk. I'm losing my voice. I've had. See, the problem is this originally wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, this this. This rambling episode, it wasn't originally going to happen. I had to redo it over and over because it wasn't going the way I wanted it to. And I started not being able to comprehend my thoughts. They started just like going out the window because, I don't know, I, I just, I started zoning out. I'll do that sometimes. And it's really hard when you just can't have focus. Yeah, I lose focus very easily. And I guess these rambling parts don't really help but at the same time. I, I try. I try a lot, viewers. And this is the most successful one I've had all day. And I thank Kung Fu Panda, because it, it made me believe. And I just watched Kung Fu Panda, because, uh, I don't know. I like that movie. I don't care what anyone says. That's a good movie. I also like Jack Black. I haven't seen him in anything recently, but I guarantee you he's doing something. All he's doing something. He's, he's usually got work. He's a funny guy. Even if people don't think he is, I think he's a funny guy. He's my new hero. Gilbert's new hero is Jack Black. He'll never watch this. And if he does, that'd be amazing. I don't even know what to say, man. If Jack Black ever watches me, I will get started at it and I'll be like, He knows! That, that's what's gonna happen. That, that, I've determined that's what's gonna happen if I ever... If Jack Black knows. And I will play There Goes My Hero by the Foo Fighters in the background as, as that happens. Oh, it'll be it'll be so magisterial. It'll be it'll be amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm super giddy at the moment. <laughs> um, I guess really when it comes down to, I gotta I gotta end the part because there's nothing left for me to really portray. So, I, I guess without further delay and without further to, further ado, I'm ending off the rambling video. So. You guys, you take it easy. It, things are going to change. It's going to be all different next time. And, uh, yeah. I, I guess I just got to say see ya. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow the enemy thing to just continue. So, yeah. Or if this is it, I, I guess this is it. Anyways, later.